So there's a ship that I'm working on. And as a part of the ship, I wanted to make a, a welder on it. To make smaller ships, like to sell, for example. Because uh, essentially this was planned as like a floating uh, trading station. Uh, but this was the first welder arm that I scripted. Uh, so basically it looks like a train. Just, uh, and the, the original idea was to be able to build stuff here on the landing deck. So I have a more or less intuitive UI that shows you which buttons to press. Uh, I added a display on the left to show what the crane is doing just because it's like you keep looking this way. And I always work towards like immersion of the game, so I don't I hate this, I hate third person, this is horrible. Plus it's not very useful in this case. Uh, I try to do everything in first person and just to keep looking up and down all the time is annoying. So this left screen uh, shows you what's going on. And then in the middle you have the main values. So I put a camera on the crane, uh, but I put it far away at the base of the second piston, or the second, uh, yeah, the second piston. And this way I can aim, I think, quite a bit better. Okay. And so then I can just start welding. And here I have my components on the right, uh, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Why is it not welding? There we go. And here you see So you can control this with the joystick, with the mouse, with the keyboard. Uh, it works very uh, intuitively. I think I might be done. Oh, let's say I'm done. And then I have an auto home uh, return function. I press 9, uh, the crane just... I worked out a sequence that's pretty safe in uh, almost any situation where it can just pull back on its own. Uh, fold up and uh, park on this gear. So that's pretty easy to use, actually. Uh, the other thing, although originally I thought, all right, I'm just going to use it to build stuff or like disassemble stuff, the arm is actually long enough that the crane can kind of weld the ship that it sits on. So like in a survival situation, I could uh, just start building the ship and I could start by making the, the refinery, the assembler, and then just the basic pipes to get to the crane and make the crane, and then the crane will weld the rest of the ship. So check this out.
Something's in the way. Fuel low. Oh yeah, well the ship is in the way, so let's just get the ship. Fuel critical. So you can see that it'll actually extend quite far. Uh, Fuel critical. Yeah, it can reach. Like I'd have to weld this by hand, but I think everything else it can reach. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. What? So I put these safety uh, 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 catwalks here. Let me. Fuel critical. Just gonna let the crane pull back. Unfortunately, right now there's no way to stop the, the return home command. So I have to wait for it to finish. Other thing that I wanted to show is that the heads are hot swappable. Fuel critical. So I could. We're just gonna ignore this. I can put a grinder here, and the UI is updated. The controls work, the same button. Uh, and also, I can put a drill for whatever reason. This thing is really useful on the left. Like, you can really see Fuel what the critical. Doing. Uh, and I can put a drill. And that also just works. The UI is updated, the drill, whatever. Uh, and the piston limits are also adjusted if you put a drill on. Because it's longer, and if you retract them all the way, it won't fit when it parks. So as you see, it's not completely retractable. Now that red uh, list of things those are the components, uh, and that is fed from the inventory computer. Uh, and that's this thing. So here on the left, you see the ore and the ingots, and on the right, you see the components in the inventory. And on one screen, you have a pretty good overview of the entire system and what it's doing. Uh, granted, the entire system's not much. It's just one refinery, one assembler, and two hardware containers, large ones, and just a couple small ones. Uh, but you can see the dynamics of the system here as well. So for example, I can uh, order up a bunch of parts. And you can see, first of all, what is queued up in the small green arrows on the right. Uh, you can see what is being processed at the moment on the right. And then you can also see uh, all right, so for example, right now you can see that it needs iron. You can see a bunch of stuff that's queued up on the right, and on the left you see that there's no iron. Uh, let's give it some iron. That's a lot of iron. Yeah. Damn. All right. Let's put the iron in there.
And so now you can see the... Oh wait, the red arrow's not supposed to be there anymore. Well, I still have bugs to work out. But anyway, you can see which ore is being processed, which components are being used, and what they're being used for. Uh, you can also see what's queued up, and then you can see what's missing, uh, if you have something that's queued up. And with that, I'm not even sure that this is going to work now because of the bugs. Uh, but let's see. If I put like uh, something like a heavy armor block or two, uh, and this is a drill, so I'm going to need a grinder. I mean, theoretically, it should, you should see, all right, oh, this thing is so much easier to aim and camera back. Uh, you should see incoming parts as I start grinding. Yes, you do. Well, you see them as queued up, so that's a bug that I have to, uh, Dress, but basically, yeah, it works. And then if you go, all right. And if I replace this with a welder, critical. And you should see the outgoing parts on there. There you go. So this works. I don't know why it didn't work with the small ship. I got a bunch of bugs to work out. But I think you get the general idea. Thanks for watching.